sugar in here. I hope I don't do no diabetic. No, I'm not. Today I'm doing a little DIY video of everybody has heard of or tried or seen these little things here. And my I add they are so good. So, I'm going to show you how I make my own. So, one day, um, I didn't have, I was out of these. And notice it's cherry. I love anything cherry. Cherry, cherry, cherry. And I love roses. So, that's how I came up with my name, Cherry Rose. So, but I'm just going to get into this video and show you guys of how I make mine. Okay, first you're gonna have some, do some sparkling water. I use the Dizani kind, and I get the unsweetened kind because you are going to add sugar to it. So you don't want it oversweet. And of course, I have my bum cherry Kool-Aid. So what I'm gonna do, I always pour the water in first. You know, making it's just making regular Kool-Aid some people put their sugar in first, and some people just, you know, do all their dry ingredients uh, first. But I do my sparkling water, and this is sparkling um, Dizani berry water. But I use any kind, any kind of sparkling water, as long as it's unsweetened. picture here so I'm only going to do two I usually use two if I'm making a bigger picture, but since the size of this, I'm just probably going to use just one today. So I got my sparkling water in my picture, and I'm pouring my cherry Kool-Aid in. And see that? Pour my cherry Kool-Aid in. Now I'm going to take my whisk, and I'm going to mix it. I might add another one since I'm going to do another water since you know I'm only right here and I'm going to go ahead and put that other pack in there yeah hold on And like I said, you can use any kind as long as it's unsweetened. You don't want it too sweet where you can't stand it. So I put three cans in there, three, and now I'm at this level. I can deal with that because once you know you add your sugar, it's going to go up anyway. I'm putting some more cherry Kool-Aid in. 
Like I said, I always use two packs anyway, so. And I've gotten the girls hooked on cherry. They're in school, by the way. Um, but by the way, guys, we did reach 100 subscribers. So we thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We really appreciate you. We really appreciate you. Okay, I'm just mixing it. The main ingredient, of course, sugar. I really don't measure it. Okay. Once you pour it in there, put it sugar in there. Here it is. Sometimes I put cherries in there, but I'm just showing you guys. You can, you can put fruit in here, and this would be a good little treat for a little beverage for the summer. I make it all in your own. And for as my designing water, I always put the cans in the refrigerator. I just put the whole box in the refrigerator. And it's cold. It's ready for me whenever I'm ready to make this. So, no ice, no chill time. It's already cold. So, I'm going to taste and see. Is it sweet enough? Oh, yes. Yes. So, there you have it. I'm not knocking this. I still love these. These things are with me on the go. Gotta have them. I do other flavors too. But cherry is my favorite. So this is my little DIY of how to make the Kool-Aid Cherry Sparkling Beverage. I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And like I said, I thank you guys for getting us to 100 subscribers. We're so happy. We love you guys. We just want to show um, just love and support to other channels. And we hope you guys do the same. So again, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Bye. See you guys next time.